So I was looking over my recent uploads uh, recently, and I noticed that I hadn't had an Uber's battle in like forever. So even though I had some challenges pending, uh, I went on uh, Twitter, uh, Showdown, and Smog on, and was like, anyone want an Uber's battle? Let me know. And uh, in my defense, though, the people who I have not yet battled are people that I haven't been able to get in contact with. Uh, it's not my fault if you tell me to contact you through Skype and then don't freaking add me on Skype. I mean, what the hell? Okay, so anyway, I find this guy actually through Showdown. I've had so much, so much good luck uh, finding battles uh, through Showdown in really obscure tiers like doubles and ubers, too, that you don't really find too many people battling them. Anyway, this guy's name is Cranum. Uh, he also has a small event account, um, but I found him through Showdown, and uh, yeah, so you'll notice one crucial difference with this team versus the last time I had an Uber's battle. I've replaced that stupid good-for-nothing Chansey with this beautiful Klefki. I love this Klefki. Uh, so anyway, he sends out Genesect first turn. I figure he's probably going to take me out with a flamethrower, but what the heck, let's get up a layer of spikes. He doesn't have a defogger, it looks like, so it should be a pretty safe bet. Goes for a flamethrower and I actually survive, and furthermore, that was a crit. So this is a specially defensive Klefki, so that's why, and had I actually done some calcs, I would have seen, uh, I had nothing to fear from a flamethrower. But so even though I was just intending to sack Klefki first turn, I said, let's save it, it's got 88 HP, that's a good chunk of HP. I switch out into um, Duroc here because I've, he's got to be Scarfed, he doesn't, he's not taking life or recoil. I mean, who runs anything else aside from Scarf on or Scarf or Life Orb on uh, um, Genesect? Anyway, out now is going to be Xerneas. That was highly expected. That's totally in keeping with my plan. Uh, I go for a substitute here, and now the question is, how bright is my opponent? Now the uh, so the answer is he does the correct move. He goes for the Moon Blast. I was hoping he'd go for the Geomancy because then uh, after two EQs, I could probably take him out with a Shadow Sneak. Uh, instead, I'm just going to be able to get off one EQ, but you know, that's better than nothing, and I've got a decent chunk of damage off on the Xerneas. I decided to save Duroc, uh, not sack it quite yet, because uh, it was a significant portion of his team. So he goes for the Moon Blast here, and Niels Bohr especially defends it and resists it, and only survives on six. Holy crap! That's just insane! Okay, so, um... Yeah, I decide. Uh, now, I debated the move here quite a bit. I had a few good options, and unfortunately, I chose the wrong one. Uh, I could have gone for Toxic. I could have set up another layer of spikes. Instead, I went for the T-Wave, just in case he wanted to switch in anyone but this Landers, or if he wanted to stay in. Um, but, ah, it's just so frustrating. So I'm going to have to switch Niels Bohr out, because I, its health is really low, but I can still use, use it as Death Fodder, and I don't want to use it as Death Fodder here, because I figure Landers would just be going for an EQ or something like that. He sets up Stealth Rocks instead, and that's not great, but it means... Uh, well, it doesn't mean anything, because he doesn't have a Defogger. So I go ahead and set up Sub. He goes for the knockoff, and I'm actually, I've actually got a question about knockoff. Is knockoff's base power boosted um, in this case? Because I've got an item, but he can't knock it off. So I think the answer is no, he doesn't get the boost. So I go for the outrage here. I know that I know what's going to happen next, and it's actually all in keeping with my plan. I get him down to about half, so that's that's impressive, and I'm really actually okay with uh, that. Um, because I've got the rocks up. I don't have rocks up, I'm sorry. Uh, so he goes ahead and sends out Xerneas. But the point is, he's, he's down pretty low that I can actually probably kill him on a switch, depending on who I've got out. So Xerneas is out now, and so I'm hoping that he's going to go for the Geomancy here, rather than just straight up KOing me. And he does. And this is amazing. And you're like, Antar, why would you be hoping that he'd go for the Geomancy? Are, do you want to get swept by a, um, a Xerneas? And the answer is, you know what's coming because you've seen my previous Ubers battles. Or you haven't, and you have no idea what's coming, and you aren't looking at what who's on my team. But the point is, uh, I'm going to be getting him down to really low health uh, with the Shadow Sneak that's coming right here. Uh, his health is down really low. And he's at plus two special attack, plus two special defense, and plus two speed. And I don't actually have any more priority on this team except for Klefki, and I don't really want to just sack Klefki going for the T-Wave. But I have Ditto. Scarf Ditto. So now I'm going to have plus two special attack, plus two special offense, uh, special defense, plus two speed, plus uh, plus 50% speed. 
Uh, thanks to that choice card. So, potentially, I could have just swept through his entire team now if he didn't have Aegis Slash. Obviously, he does have Aegis Slash. But it just it strikes me as, you know, you don't... It's, this is a uh, really uh, obvious thing. You don't go for Geomancy when your opponent has a Ditto. It just doesn't work out. Now, uh, let me explain this move right here because this was my mistake of the battle. That was his. This is my mistake of this battle. I actually count that even Aegis Slash and Shield form, I could do good a good 60% to it with a Moonblast. And then I count that his Iron Head would only do about 60% to me. No, 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 no. I was using his shield form. And you don't use shield form when you're calculating how much an iron head's gonna do. So that was dumb of me. That was really, really dumb. And I could have saved Ditto for later, but eh, oh well. So now, uh, Aegis Slash versus Einstein, uh, my Dialga. I was predicting him to switch because he's actually still got a decent chunk of HP left. So he could seriously save this for later, but he decides not to. And it turns out he doesn't have the Sacred Sword. So I set up rocks, and now I've got rocks up, and that um, Landorus is going to take a bit of damage when it comes back in. Uh, he's just going to go for another Shadow Sneak, and I'm just going to take him out with a uh, Fire Blast. I'm assuming this is the weakness policy set, but his health is down low enough that even in shield form I would have been able to KO. So that is a dead Aegis Slash, and um, yeah. It's sad to me that I will only now be seeing Aegis Slashes and Ubers battles. Or I guess doubles battles, but do people really use Aegis Slash and doubles? I guess some people do, I don't know. So Victini here. Victini is actually the surprise threat on his team. I look over the Pokemon I have left, and I realize I gotta, the only way I can do anything is sacking someone. I'm not sure if he's Scarfed or whether he's um, Banded. I'm guessing Banded because he already has a Scarfer. Uh, so I decided here I'm going to sack Niels Bohr. I realize this is like the third time I'm like, I'm, I'm sending out Niels Bohr to sack him. Um, but this time it's not going to be great. No way, no how, especially not at 25 freaking HP. So Niels Bohr did excellent work this battle. Um, set up one layer of spikes and forced his Xerneas to switch out um, at a different point. And yeah, so doing good work. And I'm happy to have it on this team, uh, especially considering Chansey was such dead weight. So now he's going to be at minus one speed, uh, even if he's scarfed uh, all out speed. So I can just feel safe going for the um, Mega Evolve and then hitting someone with a Psy Strike. I, I do the counts and realize that Psy Strike is the best option for everyone on his team, uh, including the two Pokemon that resist it, um, meaning Mewtwo and uh, uh, Victini. So yeah, Mega Evolve, Mewtwo Y. I go for the Psy Strike, and it is going to easily take out his Landorus at that range. I and mean, that's, yeah, his health was down to maybe a little more, a quarter, maybe a third. Um, but yeah, so I take him out, and now he goes out back out into the, his, oh no, he goes out into Genesect. And I'm thinking, well, don't want to take a U-turn, especially considering it's going to be his attack that gets raised. I do the calc and see that actually any physical attack from this guy would KO, whether it be Iron Head or U-turn. So, gotta switch out. Just no choice. Gotta switch out. And Einstein walls him. So, I mean, even if he went for Flamethrower, it's not super effective. And his attack got raised, not his special attack. So, yeah. I go out into Einstein. He goes for the U-turn. Um, yeah, that's fine. I guess if I'd been, if I'd known he was going to go for the U-turn, I could have sent out um, Xerneas, but this actually works out just fine. Uh, Victini is now going to be out yeah, actually, Xerneas wouldn't have been great either in this situation. So, the point is, I've got a sack. I've got a sack Dialga here. Uh, and that's sad. I'm thinking, well, maybe if he's scarfed, not banded, maybe I can survive a V-Create. Uh, but I'm, again, I'm pretty sure he's banded, which is actually better for me that he's banded. Um, because it means that my Mewtwo will outspeed no matter what. Uh, no matter what the situation. So I lose my Dialga here. And uh, Dialga is, I think Dialga wins the award for best team player because it didn't actually do too, well it set up rocks and it KO'd his Aegis Slash, but really I was just using it to sponge hits. And so yeah, I, best team player on this team, although Klefki actually is a good runner up there. Uh, so I go for the side strike, take out his Victini, um, he, I was wondering if he wanted to switch out, but again if he's banded then there's no real point in switching out. Uh, although it would mean that he would outspeed my uh, my Xerneas if I managed to get it in before um, I Geomancy. So anyway, 
Now I'm thinking this is good game, because I'm thinking he's going to go for the Iron Head, go for the Iron Head against my Xerneas, and then that's going to be a good game. But instead he shows me that he's a special attacker and only has the Flash Cannon. And I'm like, oh my god, that's awesome. Now, he was like, oh man, I should have gone for the U-turn. But here's the thing, had he gone for the U-turn, all that would have happened would have been that I would have gone out into, into Xerneas on the, um, on the Switch, I would have gone for the Mega Evolve, not Mega Evolve, I'm sorry, the Geomancy, and I would have still swept him. Uh, but as it stands, I have I have won the game because uh, this guy's down, and of his remaining Pokemon, he's only got the one, and it's Mewtwo. And if it's Mewtwo, why? Uh, I mean, yeah, if, he's, if it's Mewtwo, why go for the Geomancy and KO? Uh, I mean, he's going to be weakened no matter what. Uh, if he's Mewtwo, why? Then I think Psy Strike does like 45 to 60 percent. Um, I'll put up the annotations, but it, it turns out that he's uh, Mewtwo X anyway, so that's excellent for me because it means that uh, Moonblast will be super effective, but it doesn't really matter anyway because anything's going to take him out after the Psy Strike leaves him down with just a sliver of HP. So he is going to take out my Mewtwo, and this is going to be um, a, only a 1-0 victory for me, but Xerneas has nothing to fear from a non-boosted uh, Mewtwo X, and uh, yeah, and you know, Moonblast, there's no way it's not going to take him out. So, that is an excellent, excellent game. This was a fan fantastic, phenomenal game. Um, I'm looking up the name. You, you guys are seeing it, but I'm not. Uh, Cranum, that's his name. Uh, that was a, This was an excellent game. Thank you so much for the battle. Folks, I hope you enjoyed this battle. Comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge, and take it easy.